Man, these songs, they started, I think, as far back as 2018. This record definitely represents the longest um, sort of build time, the longest time for these songs to come together from any work that we've done in the band's history. I think about a four year, a four year incubation period for a lot of these songs uh, that you, you hear on this record. The songs evolved a lot. Um, the ones that we originally wrote way back changed. Uh, they all benefited from all of that time and it's, it's pretty remarkable. I was just working on piano for a song today where I wrote the original parts for that in 2015 and the song went through various iterations before we decided that uh, we would put it on this record. So that kind of leads into talking about how this one specifically came together. The COVID-19 pandemic happened and we were in the middle of finalising the production on our last recording session, which was a set of three EPs we eventually released as These Are Not Your Dreams. We got that out in the, uh, like roughly the first year of the pandemic. And then once that was done, we kind of then spent the next year just writing. The COVID pandemic affected not just the activities of the band, but the flow of our lives. I mean, it was like, a bizarre, jarring change of everything. And that in turn affected the art. Speaking personally, it was a period of, of great loss and of transition. Um, there was a, a death in my family. Performing music, which was very much a cornerstone of how I sort of defined myself, was gone. And in the absence of that, it begged the question of, of, of who I even was. Um, not to turn this into a therapy session, but it was no longer an identity. It was just a thing that I did almost to survive. Uh, it was a thing that was uh, an outlet and a resource for me to actually express a lot of that pain. And so that's gone into some of these songs and, and that's kind of informed uh, a lot of the process leading up to the, the making of the record. The writing, at least the writing during that period, is intrinsically linked to that time and the searching of it and the confusion of it. And I think I came out of it with a profoundly changed relationship to art and, and to creativity. The COVID period has taught me to let go a lot of my preconceptions and my ego around being a musician or my identity around being a performer and try to treat it lightly and to, you know, be grateful that we're here, we've made it this far and to take seriously the, the job of making it as good as it can be, but to remember that pure expression is, is instant. It's in the moment and it can be fun.